Hi, I'm Michael Bosco. I'm a certified agronomist and I'm with Soils Alive and I'm going to talk to you about take all root rot today. It is a really bad problem that we're finding in the majority of the yards that we're being called out to look at today. Uh, what we want to give you today is some uh, tools so that you can identify the take all root rot uh, in your yard so that you can decide if you need to take action or not. So. The, one of the distinguishing characteristics that you're going to find is the yellowing in the blades themselves. Uh, a lot of times your yard will be nice and thick, but you're going to see yellow uh, in the growth pattern. It won't be in any kind of uh, circular pattern. It'll just kind of be a, a spreading uh, pattern. The other thing is the take-all root rot actually affecting the root system. So you can grab a, a stolen and fairly easily pull it out of the ground uh, with, uh, with not a whole lot of resistance. And also when you're doing that, you can uh, look at the root system itself and see that many of the roots will be burned off about an inch or less below the ground with a little black tinge to it, literally looking like it was burned off. And that's actually the disease uh, creating the decay and uh, killing the root system. That yellowing is because of that decay that's occurring and that, that disease uh, not allowing the roots uh, to pull up the water and the nutrients that it needs. So we're actually seeing a chlorosis in the, in the blades themselves. Uh, as, as the disease progresses in the later stages, you'll actually see the stolons die back and dead areas occur. It will kind of be in a general area, but there is no circular pattern to it. It just tends to run through the yard. Uh, in many cases.